<clears throat> I'm here, and you you just won't believe it. Now, isn't that a, a nice sight there? Wow. That was really a mess. Hey, a really great thing happened. Somebody sent me a new GoPro camera. So don't send me no camera. I don't need that. I want to show you the old camera. Here's the battery that Bill sent. He's, he's been battery powering us for a while. But this is my old GoPro 9. And I don't know if this one focuses better. But this has done more than 600 videos in the past three years. And one of the problems I'm having with it is the off button. Can you see it? It looks like a crater to the moon. You have to like dig your thumbnail in it. And there's a device that I can hook a microphone to. And I borrowed one and I couldn't shut the camera off. And the device like fits around this thing. And then another problem happened. I lost the battery door. So I put a battery in it. I have to put a piece of tape on there. And uh, it's really scratched up. And uh, I think I think maybe I should keep this and use it uh, close to the grinding wheels because the grinding wheels really have damaged this thing. Now my voice is really weak. You gotta understand that I'm doing. Nope. It shut off for some reason, didn't it? What's it doing? What are we doing? Oh, it's got some screensaver. I thought the thing shut off. I'll have to extend that to a, a longer period of time. Um, yeah, my voice is very weak. Uh, there's a lot of smoke in the air. And hopefully I can do something with um, microphones more. But however, this uh, GoPro here is an updated version of this uh, 9 which is a known I got this one it was <laughs> pretty new and then they come out with a, a 10 that was better and then they just keep improving them and uh, this was kind of problematic it goes through batteries fast and it gets hot it gets so hot that it cooks those uh, chips <laughs> And after a while, they crumble in your fingers. That uh, SD chip, that, it goes right there. So I got a GoPro camera, full kit, chips, batteries, and everything. And that's really, really needed. And uh, I tell you, I go, man, I really got to do some stuff now. But I, 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 I know some of you enjoy this stuff. Well, for right now... I got to do something that's hot out here. So I'll just wipe that down with kerosene and talk a little bit and see if the microphone's improved on this camera. So this is a, a test of this brand new camera. And here we go, I hope I didn't kick that over. Okay, I'm gonna pour a little kerosene on here. A lot of kerosene on there, huh? All right, so the kerosene in the sun helps lift that rust out. They just keep applying it. I'm seeing an improvement already. Of course, when I get this thing inside, um, it'll, it'll polish out like the axle sun even look better because it's in actual better shape. So we'll get this here. Get that. The spindle sleeve is in excellent condition and it's fully extended. If you can't hear me, well, spindle. Get that white down. Pull this thing on around. I think I got clearance there.
so you can pull these things into a like have them in a garage it's not level so it's going to swing back some and like you could pull a truck up on that back side there and drill holes in the frame for mounts or something for uh, beds so that's one of the neat things about a radio you could drill something out here something heavy within the reach of that arm I don't know if you can hear me from here. Probably not. All right. Get this table real quick. This table is older than the drill. And somewhere along the line, it seems like when I, uh, I remember this drill at the community college with the uh, original table. And I remember I'm working on a table there, so hard to say what happened. But that's a good table, that Carlton. You know, you know it's been repaired and uh, machined in place. Okay, back side here. Okay, I'm gonna go in, go in the shop there. I'm gonna show you something I made about 45 years ago. <laughs> How about that? I built that thing uh, about 45 years ago. And I built several steam engine. And that's how I have the confidence to do videos. I don't think anything about it. Because I built things like this, that's how you do it. Now, Blondie Hacks teaches beginning machining, making some hammers and things, and they're all very good projects. And then she moves on to these. And for good reason.
That's for good reason. Because with these, you're actually building a moving device that requires clearances and setup and alignment. See? Now that's important. It really is. And uh, making things like surface gauges and narrowing tools and uh, stuff like that, if you want to do that, do that. But if you really want to get advanced, get into the steam engines because you'll hold the parts in every conceivable way. Now I built this 45 years ago without a milling machine. All I had was, uh, it is about a 30s South Bend Junior workshop right it was about a nine inch swing and it had a very long bed on it four and a half feet for a little bench light and it was heavy and meant for overhead drive but i know a few of you have those and look what you can build with that okay <laughs> what no well uh, this one up here i showed it another time I don't know, 30 years ago, and uh, I built that, uh, and that's some more pants, a little bit more fancy. Now I'll get this one down eventually. This is one of the very first ones, 50 years ago. So, and another thing I really need to explain is I'm, this is not a beginning machinist or entertainment channel. If you need entertainment, there's Lady Gaga and all kinds of stuff out there for you. But what you need to do is have some good basics and come in here for some advanced instruction. Because I know these things. Because <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. So I've just been waiting for the experts to jump in on this thing here and it looks like no super tool maker is going to come in and show how to run that machine. What do you think about that? All right, leave it to a guy like me that nobody likes very much. Don't have a good voice. I'm not good looking. I'm hoping this GoPro camera um, works out okay. I, I think it will. I was looking at the uh, at the steam engine here and I'm getting a lot better close focus. Now I'll have that at uh, the rest of the device to hook this camera up but supposedly the microphone in it uh, is better and we'll see. And another thing I wanted to talk about, I'm going to give you a term. Inside machinist. You ever heard that term? Inside machinist. I have a good story about that. But in my endeavors, I, I have become an inside machinist. And I will talk about that a little bit later. And I think I'll load this video here. And I just want you to understand, this is advanced stuff, not entertainment. And for me to learn this stuff, you wouldn't believe what I had to go through with grumpy old people worse than me. And uh, hard to hear in a, in a loud shop, but I was eager to learn. It was there to learn, and I didn't complain. Because back in those days, complainers went out the door. And I'm that way, too. I'm not going to put up with any crap. All right? And I can show you how to be an inside machinist and build confidence. But I want you to go to the Blondie Hacks channel and get the basics. Because this stuff is not that complicated, what I'm doing here. 
And I don't know how to set up a classroom thing on advanced machining. Advanced machining is learned on the job. And I've got really an ideal situation going on here for advanced machining because I have a, a, a big project, this entire shop here. Lots of little things to make using all of the processes, okay? It, it would be ridiculous to uh, try to do uh, a series on jig boring and stuff like that. You gotta learn so much more. <coughs> Smoke in the air, weak voice, there's fires, we're surrounded by fires here. And it's not any better for my life in Montana either. So, I don't know if you can see the smoke out here between the building. It got a little bit of a breeze here and it, it, it's quite a bit better. Okay, I'm going to load this video and I just want to encourage this kind of stuff, you know, if you want to get to that level. And people watching this are, are buying these uh, tool and cutter things. And, uh, there's a, there's a lot of requests on that, and that's <laughs> not the easiest thing to point out. And again, I'm not a commercial tool and cutter grinder. You know, they used to send them to some service, and you know, people sat in front of these machines all day doing that stuff. I would never do that when I could do this kind of stuff. <laughs> Okay, but I had to add uh, the cutter grinder is the heart of the shop and I think I believe I showed that it is currently set up with that vise to finish cut this to a tenth or two over and then I'm going to lap it. Real exciting. Have a good one.